1. Remove the print platform plate. 2. Detach the heated bed assembly, keeping the screws and spacers for later use. 3. Loosen the Y-axis timing belt tensioner. 4. Remove both ends of the Y-axis timing belt. 5. Remove the Y-axis timing belt tensioner and set it aside along with the belt. 6. Remove the Y-axis carriage assembly from the Y-axis extrusion. 7. Detach the 12 metal wheels from the Y-axis carriage. 8. Insert M3 asterisk 8 screws and M3 T nuts into the long bracket. 9. Install the long bracket onto the machine base, ensuring that its side is flush against the stainless steel rail on the extrusion. 10. Mark the threaded holes on the long bracket. This step is optional. 11. Attach the linear rail to the long bracket using M3 asterisk 5 screws. Note, the linear rail extends forward by one hole position. Do not fully tighten the screws yet. 12. Place the square silicone pad on the slider. 13. Position the short bracket on top of the square silicone pad. Ensure the notched side of the short bracket faces outward. Secure it to the slider using M3 asterisk 8 screws. 14. Place the round silicone pad on the short bracket. 15. Attach the printed limit stop to the small hole on the Y-axis carriage using M5 asterisk 10 screws. 16. Place the Y-axis carriage onto the short bracket and insert the auxiliary spacer into the hole on the Y-axis carriage. 17. 
Secure the Y-axis carriage to the short bracket using M5 asterisk 10 screws. Eighteen. Fix the timing belt tensioner onto the Y-axis extrusion. Ensure the adjustment screw is positioned at the top to avoid incorrect installation. Nineteen. Secure both ends of the timing belt to the Y-axis carriage. Twenty. Adjust the belt tension, then slightly loosen the screw on one of the Y-axis idler pulleys. Slide the Y-axis back and forth. Fine-tune the belt tension, and then retighten the pulley screw. Twenty-one. After sliding the Y-axis again, fully tighten the screws securing the linear rail. 22. Out of the 8 spacers two or slightly longer. Place the longer ones in the middle of the Y-axis carriage and the shorter ones on the sides. 23. Install the heated bed onto the Y-axis carriage. 24. Place the print platform plate onto the heated bed. 